Hi, this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing and Mobiputing, and I have here a Motorola Zoom, which has just received the update to Android 3.1. This is a Verizon 3G model, but the 3G has not actually been activated, but I still got the uh, the update just a few minutes ago. Uh, it takes about five minutes to update. You get a prompt, you hit a button, reboots. It's pretty much all there is to it. Uh, there's a little bit of waiting, but um, when it's done, everything comes through a little bit faster, seems like. There's a little bit of uh, extra hardware graphics acceleration. Um, and some other features. So let's take a quick look at the features. A lot of what's happening is uh, stuff that's sort of under, uh, you know, uh, deep operating system stuff that you're not necessarily going to notice, but there are a couple of user interface tweaks. First off, we've got a new way to do recent apps. You can see more than just the one screen worth of apps that you were uh, using before. You can now scroll up and down. Second, home screen widgets uh, can now be resized. Not all home screen widgets, but things like the calendar or the Gmail app uh, currently support it, and eventually we'll probably see more as uh, developers take advantage of the uh, tools that Google's made available for resizable home screen widgets. So you just tap and hold and drag the bars. Now some of the other changes are going to be in the Android market where there's now access to Android apps, which has been available for a little while, books, again, available for a little while, but also now movies. Uh, this is very similar to what you'll see in the uh, desktop version of the Android market, but you can uh, click for more details, view previews, and so forth. Now, the music player doesn't look all that different, but it does add support for um, the music beta service by uh, by Google. So I don't actually have access to that right now, but if you have stuff stored online in your Google account, you should be able to access it from the music player. And then some of the other differences that you'll notice are in the web browser, where you can turn on a, an experimental feature in the lab setting that gives you this quick uh, bar here. So you've got forward, back, refresh, um, tabs, create a new tab, close a tab, or go to settings. So let's do settings, and I'll show you how you turn that feature on. You just go to labs, and check the box next to quick controls. Now, when you have quick controls on, you won't see this toolbar at the top, even if you scroll to the top of a page. So you want to be careful with that. Um, if you're not used to it, quick controls. Well, that's kind of funny. Let's click out of here, and go back to the browser. And now we've got the quick controls instead. Let's go back to settings. And also in labs, you've got uh, the ability to turn on your most visited home, uh, most visited links. So when you create a new tab, you'll see a list of visited pages and Google Instant, which allows you to um, get results as you're typing. And that's most of it for the uh, the changes that you'll probably notice. Uh, under the hood, there's also support for uh, FLAC audio format. So if you have um, uh, anything in the lossless FLAC format, you can now play it. There's support for USB host capabilities. I don't happen to have a cable that's going to work because there's not a full-size USB port here. But you should be able to plug in a USB mouse or a game controller, for instance and there should be better uh, Wi-Fi uh, support. And take a quick look at my list, make sure I'm not forgetting anything here. Oh yeah, the calendar application has also been tweaked so that uh, the grid lines are a little bit uh, more clean. And so there's some overall user interface tweaks as well. There's support in the gallery, uh, the photo gallery app for picture transfer protocol, which should allow you to plug in a camera using a USB cable and copy photos. Um, and that USB host capability should also let you plug in something like a USB flash drive to copy photos. So um, overall, that's that's most of the differences. Um, browser feels uh, faster. The overall animations feel a little bit faster, and using a web browser, the graphics hardware acceleration with Adobe Flash, uh, the latest version of Adobe Flash, works pretty well. I was able to go to vivo.com and watch a music video at uh, 720p resolution with no problem, full screen mode. 1080p doesn't really work so well, 
um, but the screen doesn't really support 1080p, so the only reason you would want to do that is if you were streaming HDMI video out to an external display. So there you go, that's the uh, first look at the Motorola Zoom 3G with Android 3.1. This is Brad Linder with Lilliputing and Mobiputing.